so here we are we will uh, uh, simulate a three phase rectifier in this lecture so I will make a new sheet here and then for a three phase rectifier we need to have a three phase source it can either be created by using three separate voltage sources or there are two blocks available here known as a three phase source and a three phase program email source so first of all we will make it by using three separate AC voltage sources because there is it is somewhat uh, more uh, reliable and more uh, useful to know how to adjust the phase angles of these single three phase sources single sources and now we will we need to have a diode there are variety of things available like we can use for a three phase uh, rectifier we can use six diodes here alternatively we can use a universal bridge here so we will drag this universal bridge here and also we need to measure the currents and the voltages we need to have the waveform so for that purpose this time we will be using this multimeter we are not using the voltage and the current measurement so that we can get familiar ourselves familiar wise with this multimeter so for this multimeter we need not to uh, use any kind of scope because it's not necessary it can plot a waveform with a very good white background so what we will do is now to create we will create a three phase source here so this three phase AC source voltage source I will first of all hide the name because they are somewhat disturbing me so this is the height name from here I will I'm also going to hide this name also so here we are So this universal bridge has three inputs A, B and C available. I will, I'm going to a bit zoom in, zooming this thing. So we will connect this A with this source, with this B with this voltage source and the C with the last one available. You can see if you double click on this universal bridge, if you see on this universal bridge there are number of bridge arms required for it and whether you are using a thyristor based bridge or a diode based bridge you can define here so what i am doing is that i am using a diode based bridge since it is an uncontrolled rectifier and is half wave so here it is this is diode and here our measurements are i am going to measure the uh, uh, device currents so whatever the current is flowing through this diode we can see this number of arm bridge are 3 if you make it 2 you can see here that you have only 2 terminals available now instead of 3 so it would it will not be a 3 phase rectifier rather it will be a single phase rectifier so for this we will make it again a 3 our choice is 3 so that we can uh, simulate our 3 phase rectifier ok so here we are now we have to adjust these the values of these three uh, sources as well as we need to uh, put sort of a load on it so for adjusting this thing we need to have a common ground for these three voltage sources the ground is available in the elements here in same power system the third block is element just click on this element and here it is the ground is available so just click on here this the ground is available here what I will do is this, I will just connect this swing with this ground and will join the other two terminals as well here. But still our 3 phase system is not okay because we need to uh, adjust the, the phase degree. This is minus 120 degree so that it can, uh, we can uh, show a, a, a difference of 120 degree and this will be 120 degree positive. Now here I need to have a load. So again for load I am using a series RLC branch, here it is, series RLC branch, I am connecting this here and I will rotate it as I did in the last lecture, I will rotate it a bit and here we are. Most of the loads in power electronics are RL loads so I will make an RL branch here with an inductance of 1 mini Henry, the default value and the resistance of 1 ohm. So when this I have completed this thing there is something known as measurements if you click on this measurement 
there are uh, three options available branch voltage branch current or both so let us uh, see uh, let us check this value branch voltage and current now when you check this value we will double click on this multimeter and you can see here there are a lot of available measurements here now if i remove this thing and i select this to none it means that there with there are you know you can see the universal the ratings only are from the universal bridge so if i deselect this value which is showing the measurements there will be no available readings on this multimeter you can see available measurements are zero there are no available measurements here so in order to get graphs using a multimeter you need to check this value of the measurement so we need a branch voltage okay we need a branch current so both of the thing we need for this load so when i click on this thing you can see here ub stands for the voltage for the series rlc branch which we have connected here and ib stands for the current across the uh, current through this uh, series rlc branch so i'm going to select both of them and will add it using these two uh, arrows so here it is and and there there is a, another thing known as plot selected measurement if i will not click on this uh, value it will not plot the measurement so let us plot this measurement just close it and just play it for one second so let us see what will happen you can see here it has been instantly drawn using uh, this multimeter and we need not to have any kind of kind of scope here so here are the simulation results you can just zoom them well to get a very good waveform look at this look at this waveform again there are spikes here you can see here a lot of spikes here that can be removed if you adjust the simulation parameters and adjust this maximum step size to somewhat a lower value and also there are solvers available the best solvers available for uh, power electronic circuits is the last one ODA 23 TB this is the best uh, as far as my good knowledge is concerned so we will just click on it and we will play this and you can see here now this waveform must be good than the previous one look at this these are smooth waveforms this is the three phase waveform uh, three phase waveform filtered and double voltage across the load and this is the series rlc branch you can see here this is also sort of a rippled uh, current waveform so this is the end of the second lecture from today